Okay, uh, we're back at the 66 Cub, and um, I've run into a little uh, a little problem, and the problem is, is I'm not getting any spark. Uh, I get spark, and then I don't get spark, and then I do once, and then I kick it five days, and I don't get any. And uh, what the problem is, is under the flywheel, and I'll tell you how I know. Um, I've taken my coil out and I've, uh, there's a little wooden bung in the coil and you drill it out and you can pull a cable off and I've put a new cable on and it's a copper core cable. I've got a different spark plug. Tried that of course first. Here's the coil wire. Okay. And, uh, grounded. Grounded. This is my battery charger. Yeah. So much for that. We'll ground it there. Uh, key is off. And I'm going to hit this. And I want to show you this. And every time I hit that, I get a spark. So, we have an operating coil. Okay, uh, this does not have a power source going into the coil. No, 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 not the coil, the alternator section, rotating section. Okay, so uh, inside there, there's points and a condenser. And the, of course, the points open, close, open, close, open, close, open, close. So, you should hear the signal. Uh, oh, uh, let me show you some other things here. This is, here's your black wire from your switch. So, uh, we're continuity. And uh, let me ground this. It might take a second here if I can fidget with this and ground it. Pardon the crappy video. Okay. Now... Uh, this should be off, key is off, so I should have a ground, and I do, okay, when I turn the key on, key is on, first switch, here's my neutral light, I do have a, my crappy old battery hooked up to it, um, it will, Give me a signal, and then when I turn the engine over, the signal will change. Hear that? But I cannot make the signal stop. Can I? Can it's right there. And I can see my points are, are, are open, nice and far. But I cannot make the signal stop. That tells me my condenser has grounded itself. Or something in there, the wire or something is touching. Because inside here is a switch, a contact set. And as it goes around, it opens and closes. Well, when it opens, it allows this thing to fire. It stops grounding the coil and it fires the spark plug. That's essentially how it works. So, let's uh, shut that off. That's annoying. So, I can hear it warble, but I can't make it stop. But since I can't make it stop, I know there's something under this flywheel that's grounding us. Now, that being said, what I'm going to need to do is push this in the corner because I am going to need that puller. So I'm going to have to get online and buy a puller tonight. But it's going to be several days before I see it, probably. So, that's where we're at now. Um, the forks, they turned out famously. That's my kickstand or center stand. They turned out really well. Um, had a horn. 
might not have enough power going to it because that battery is only at about 3 volts. I, I know what you're saying, well, you don't have enough voltage going to your, going to your, you don't have a strong, but I can put the battery charger on it and it's a full amp at 6 volts and I still can't get a spark. Uh, like, uh, it, it's sporadic. So, there's something inside there that's grounding itself out. It's probably what killed this thing to begin with. Uh, the steering had worked out really well. And, uh, and I was able to weld that and tighten it up. I did have a problem. I did weld that a little bit bigger than uh, originally. So I had trouble passing the ferrule that screws onto the speedometer drive through there. Uh, I ended up having to take a file up through there and knock a couple of pieces off in order to get it through because it passes through the the speedometer cable passes through there okay well I'm going to uh, undo all my electrical findings and uh, push this in the corner go inside and order me a flywheel puller because I am not pulling that flywheel without the proper tool I will ruin it <laughs>